And now, let's go back to 1950. In a long time ago, 1950 Korean War, they be here, they let us sacrifice. Over 25,000 men have been wounded in Korea. A lot of soldiers be there here and uh, save this country. On July 27, 1953, a ceasefire had ended armed hostilities. One of the strangest and most unorthodox wars in history had ended by mutual consent on both sides. And still they, were, they come here, care about the coast, Korea. They take care of a lot of stuff, you know, a lot. So uh, something I can do that, I'm gonna, you know, give away. My husband is American. Been army 21 years, he retired. I used to work here at Legon Airport. They have a US over there, so, oh, maybe I'll finish work and then uh, I want to volunteer over there. So I try application, everything there, and I came to Korea, so I just work here. Oh, I love to cook for a, I love to cook. You know, I can cook any kind of, something I can do, any kind of food they love, is so I'm so happy. They call me sometimes I'm a Mimi, you know, so they think like I'm their mom. <laughs> We are so lucky to have Miss Mimi here, and the soldiers really look forward to uh, the meal that Miss Mimi is going to prepare. I think Miss Mimi helps them experience Korea while they're here. They come into the center and they taste it and go, oh, this is so good. What is it? And then she tells them the name, and I feel like she's introduced them to something they would not have tried otherwise. I may give it to me last. I have to give back some things for the you know, army, so. Small thing, it's just a little small portion, but I'm so happy. They're happy, I'm happy.